Hi, I'm Meg, and I'm an interior designer and visual media specialist based right here in the United States. And welcome to class nine of module two of the interior design playbook. This session, where we go from 2D to 3D, extracting isometric views with Rayon SketchUp plugin is all about best practices for design documentation. In this class, you'll learn how to take your 2D drawings from Rayon and quickly generate 3D models in SketchUp, extruding walls, placing openings, and building your 3D model with just a few clicks. From there, we're gonna create some more views like isometric views, elevations, sections, and more, and then bring them back into Rayon to enrich your presentations with styling and annotations. By the end of this lesson, you will see how this plugin becomes a true bridge between 2D and 3D, helping you deliver a polished, professional documentation set that clients, stakeholders, and you can easily understand. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can download the free template that's linked right below. And if you'd like more personalized guidance, you can also book a demo call with the Rayon team using the link in the description. Finally, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Let's dive in. So we have been working on this ranch house, right? So we've already created our floor plan sections, elevations, created schedules, mood boards, everything right inside of Rayon Design. But now I would like to take this 2D floor plan and add a 3D isometric view to strengthen our client buy-in and help stakeholders better understand our design. So in order to do this, we're gonna jump into SketchUp and install the Rayon plugin. This is going to allow us to move seamlessly between 2D and 3D, and this way we can generate isometric views in SketchUp, and then we'll bring them back into our presentation set in Rayon to kind of spruce them up a little bit. So I am in SketchUp right now in my little template file, and I'm gonna show you how to install the Rayon plugin. I already have it installed, but I will take you through the process of how to do it. So all you're gonna do is go to your extensions up here and we'll go to extension warehouse and this is where we're going to search for the Rayon plugin. So I'll just type in Rayon and you can see right here that it comes up and if you just click free and then install, it will install that into your SketchUp and then once you do that, you should be able to go up here to your extensions and see Rayon right here. In the drop down menu, you will also see a little extension block right here with the R on it. Once you either click here or in the drop down menu, it is going to launch Rayon. So this will prompt you to sign into your account and that way it can link it between your web account of Rayon and right here in your plugin. And so you can see that we have all of my files that I have worked on in Rayon as well as some templates. And this is just going to allow you to start by importing any of these files into SketchUp. What it's gonna do is it's going to basically extrude our walls and mark the openings instantly for us. And it's going to give us a really nice, pretty basic 3D representation of our space. So let me just show you how to go ahead and import one of your floor plans and we can take a look at what kind of 3D view that makes. So I have our floor plan right here and I'm just going to click this little um, down arrow, which is basically going to ask me to import it into SketchUp. Now you'll see right here that it's going to list your canvases. I want to bring in my floor plan and then these numbers right here, you might wanna edit. So what this is gonna do is it's going to take every single wall that you have drawn as a wall in your Rayon file and it's going to put a height to it, it's gonna give it a Z depth. So this is telling it that I want to make my wall height 10 feet tall. Also probably should mention that your units are right here. So I am working in feet. So I'm telling it that I want all of my walls to be 10 feet. I want all of my door heights to be seven foot. I want all my window heights to be three foot, windowsill height two foot. Now, not all of your windows might be that height. Not all of your doors might be that height, but it's going to start by giving you a good representation of the space in 3D. And then you can edit from there. I also like to check this box right here that says only import walls, zones, and openings because that just kind of keeps it clean. We really don't need any other junk coming in here. So that's up to you if you wanna check that on or off. And then you will just simply hit import and you will wait just a minute or two. And what it's gonna do is it's going to create a 3D model from that floor plan that you just brought in. Once this says that the model canvas was imported successfully, you can just close right out of here, cancel that. And you can see that it has created a basic 3D model representation of our floor plan. So like I said, all of my walls are 10 feet tall, all my door openings are seven foot tall, and so on and so forth. So now you can see how we can start to get um, some good like isometric views set up of our space. So I'd like to show you how to create 
uh, one or two isometric scenes. Um, and then I also wanna show you how to extract some sections and elevations from SketchUp and then further refine them in Rayon if you choose to do so. In order to set up a scene in SketchUp, all you have to do is just kind of find whatever place you uh, want to highlight. So maybe let's do like a nice axon right here. And once you find the right view that you want, you just have to hit this little plus sign over here under scenes. If your scenes are not up here, you can find them under window scenes. And we're just gonna hit the plus sign and that's going to basically just make this a view. Now you can further refine this view. You can change the style of your view. Um, you can even make this, if you don't want it to be you know, so orthographic, you can make it a perspective view. Just make sure that anytime that you update your view in SketchUp that you do update the scene. So if I wanted to make sure that this was going to be a perspective, I would wanna right click and go to update scene. Now, I actually wanna keep this as a parallel projection because I want it to look like a nice kind of like exploded axon type of thing. So we'll just leave that as that. I am going to rename this scene just by right clicking and I'll just say axon and that way we can easily identify that later. Now you can continue to add more. You can add just like little smaller areas. Like maybe we just wanna do something right here. So if I like that view, I can hit my plus sign again and maybe we'll call that axon two. Now the cool thing is too that you can start kind of opening up these walls. So if maybe I thought, you know, I can't really see into this room, but I want to, you can always just add in a section plane. So if I go up here to my tools and I go to section plane and I just linger on the wall that I want to basically cut through, you can see that it kind of like snaps to different walls. If I just linger on that wall and then I grab my section plane so it's blue, then I can kind of move it in and you can see that we're starting to see into the space more. Now, keep in mind that you can actually only have one section plane active at a time in SketchUp. So if you did want to add any more, you would have to start doing some groups and that's a whole other discussion. But just know that this is a possibility. And actually, I'm gonna show you too how we can use section planes to create those section cuts or elevations to bring back into Rayon as well. So we've got our two scenes set up. We've got this larger axon and then we've got this kind of like smaller close up axon. Lastly, I wanna show you how you can use those section planes that I was just telling you about to actually generate some sections in SketchUp. So if we go back and grab our section plane and choose a wall that we want to cut through. So let's just say, let's say that we want to basically slice through right here, right? So if we wanna slice through right there, I need to grab my tools and click on section plane. And then I need to basically hover on this wall. Hit okay. And then I wanna make sure that it's blue. I wanna make sure it's selected so I can move it. And I'll just hit my move key. And that way you can kind of move it to where you want to cut through. Now I think that that looks like a pretty good place to cut through. So now you can kind of see the start of our elevation here. Interior elevation or section, however you wanna call it. So uh, now we just need to get a head on shot. So the way that I like to do that is just by clicking through my views up here. By the way, if your SketchUp uh, looks a little bit different than mine, you can always just uh, right click up here and customize toolbar um, and drag any of these up there. I like to always have my views and my styles up here. I'm just gonna click around here until I find the right side that shows this uh, section that I've just created. So it looks like right here is correct. And so I'm going to hit the plus sign again. I'll just say create scene. I'm going to right click and rename it. Um, I will call this my section. So now if I click between these, every time that I do that, SketchUp remembers my layers and my scene and my settings and my styles. And so like if I go to this section now, now it remembers, okay, I've got a section plane there. Typically, if I'm working in SketchUp, I will spend some time refining the styles and the materials and all that stuff. But since we are taking these back into Rayon, we don't have to worry about that right now. Make sure you go ahead and save your file and then we're gonna import this back into Rayon. So we will go ahead and click on that little R button again to launch our plugin. So we're just going to click on export right here and it's going to prompt us to select which views, which scenes uh, we want to bring back into Rayon. And I'm going to say that I want all three of them. 
Um, you can also choose to export textures, which might uh, make the process a little bit longer, as well as your complex objects. I'm just gonna keep it simple and export these three views for now. We'll say export, and it's gonna do a little bit of thinking. It's gonna create a rayon model for us, and then we can go into rayon and edit that. So I'm just gonna hit open here, and it's actually going to open up our web browser so we can go back in and make any more like stylistic adjustments. So as you can see here, it has just already created a canvas for us with our three different views that we've already created. So we've got our two different isometric views and then we've got our section view. And you can actually just move these around. They are basically just like grouped views, which is beautiful. But as you can see, these look um, pretty basic, right? So that's where Rayon can really change the game for you. And now we can fine tune things like stroke widths, we can apply some colors, textures, hatches, add our annotations and upgrade the isometric views to really pretty representations of our project. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So if we go into one of these views, if I double click in here, you can see that this basically group is made up of a bunch of different shapes. So these shapes are no different than the shapes that we have previously styled in our other drawings. So once you select the shape, you can add a style. So if we want to add a style, let's say on this exterior wall, let's add a new style. We're gonna detach the current style. And then right here under solid, we will just kind of figure out what we wanna do here. We can either pick a hatch or maybe we could do something. Let's do like a brick or something. So we can add brick and that is going to basically apply to the outside of our wall. Now, if we like that for other walls, we can always just grab our little picker and then we can eye drop it on there. So essentially all of these faces that came in are their own shape that you can modify. So same goes for like this top part. Like if you want this to look like it's a nice little like black cut through or something, I can just detach, go to solid, put a nice black on there. And now it kind of looks like it's like cutting through a floor plan a little bit, right? You can also always add a zone if there's something that doesn't come in. Like I can see that a floor didn't come in over here. So we could always just draw our zone. So down here, I'm just gonna click on zone and then I'm just going to basically trace our space and it's just going to create another shape for us essentially. And then we will be able to edit that the same way that we can edit anything else. So I can click on that and if you need to adjust it, you know, go adjust it, just double click and move. And yeah, if we want to apply, you know, a red floor or something there we can, or if we want to do a texture, that's kind of how you can add in a shape if for some reason it doesn't translate from SketchUp to Rayon. You can also always import a custom texture. So if there is a specific flooring or something, you can always go over into your styles here and go to your image and then actually upload your own image, adjust the rotation. Essentially, you know, everything that we've learned thus far in this course applies right here as well, even though we're working kind of in 3D. It's really all the same fundamentals that we've learned so far in our 2D work. Um, we're just kind of bringing it into a different dimension. And honestly, the Rayon SketchUp plugin did the hard work for us. So now it's just kind of up to us to stylize it. As with any of our other drawings, you can also add in your leaders, text, all that kind of fun stuff. So if there's anything that you wanna call out, you can just click on your leaders and add your text. Um, same thing as before with our um, different styles. If you need to change the size or uh, the color or the font, you can always do that over here. So let's maybe make this a little bit bigger. Additionally, if you'd like to add in maybe a photo to call something out, you can do that by copying and pasting a photo dire right directly here onto your canvas if you want, similar to our mood board lesson. So if I maybe find a really nice wood floor that I like in Pinterest, I can just copy that image, go back into my file, paste it right here, and now you've got the image directly here that you can just kind of reference and say, okay, this is actually going to be this exact flooring and just kind of call it out that way. I always am a huge fan of adding in, you know, your inspiration and uh, different actual materials and furniture selections to your technical drawings. I think it's just such a fun juxtaposition. Now, all of these techniques also apply down here to our section. This is basically exactly the same. Like all of these uh, shapes here are editable and you can detach their style and add a new style. You can also add in your dimensions, add in you know any of your 
uh, annotations that can all happen right here. So if you want to, you know, spruce it up a little bit more here in rayon, um, this is where you would do that with a little bit of time and effort. This is what your isometric view could look like. So again, we've got all of our um, different shapes kind of colored in. We've got some zones called out. We've got um, our little mini mo mood boards pointing to different rooms and spaces. And you can essentially tell that this isometric drawing goes with our floor plan from before because you can start to pick out certain elements like, oh, there's the pool, oh, there's this room, et cetera, et cetera. It really just helps kind of paint the entire picture. Now, lastly, in your paper canvas, you can create a page and basically place this drawing on the page. So we are on our paper canvas and I will hit the plus sign by layers and I'm just gonna say page and it's just going to drop a page here. Now, if you wanna change the size of whatever size it brings in, you can just do that right over here and make sure that, you know, especially if you're working to scale that you get that correct. Um, and once you have your page set up, then you can go back to that plus sign again, hit view model canvas, and it's just going to drop your view from your model canvas. Now, if you need to adjust the frame at all, you just hold down your command key and make sure it looks however you want it to. Now on this page, you can also create like a nice legend just by using your uh, different shapes and text and anything else that you um, might need to kind of point some things out. And that's pretty much it. Our documentation set is now complete and offers the best of both worlds. We have our 2D documentation and our 3D visualization. So all of the stakeholders can now have a comprehensive understanding of the project and space. And one thing to note just before exporting your presentation is that you can also share your model online with others, add comments, annotations, and collect feedback directly on the canvas you can just do this by clicking the share button over here in the top right corner and you can invite people with their email select them as an editor or just as a viewer you can also make the link public and then just copy and paste it to whoever or if you'd like to export just a traditional uh, PDF you can just go to the hamburger menu over here and go to export PDF and choose whichever pages you want to export thanks for watching I hope this tutorial gave you a clear overview of how to use rayon SketchUp plugin to bring your 2D drawings into SketchUp and then back into Rayon for a complete and professional drawing set. Remember, this plugin is all about bridging 2D and 3D design workflows, making it easier to communicate your designs and get client and stakeholder buy-in. If you'd like to keep practicing, don't forget to grab that free template linked below. And if you'd like more tailored guidance, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one demo call with the Rayon team. The link is right in the description below. Finally, if you found this lesson helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. See you next time. Thank you.